the number one way to get him to pursue you again. This is going to be a great video for you to watch. If you have been pursued by a man in the beginning, or even if you think you've been pursued, and I'm gonna explain more about why I say it in that way as we get into this video. Because if you perceive his pursuit in a way that he doesn't mean it, you are going to think certain things, behave from those thoughts, and you will hurt yourself in getting any kind of consistent and real pursuit. And this is gonna hurt you in the long run to getting what you want with him. So who am I to talk about this? I'm Coach Paula Grooms, a dating and relationship coach for women, licensed social worker and author of the book, Why Won't He Commit? How a Man Decides to Make You the One. I help you find a Mr. Right, get back with an ex, or grow an existing relationship with a man you truly desire so that you inspire his continued interest for the relationship of your dreams so you receive the complete commitment you totally deserve. So let's first define what a man's real pursuit is. I have found over the course of my work with women over the years that women can perceive a man's, what I'm going to say is a very low valued pursuit as his real consistent and meaningful pursuit in terms of knowing whether or not there's real interest there. So I can illustrate this in a couple of ways for you that I think will be helpful. The first is to make a hypothetical scenario of a guy and a woman meeting in say a bar, club, at a first meeting, anywhere it's the first meeting and because she feels that she really likes him, which is so rare, there's real chemistry and connection, she goes home with him that night and has sex. Well, she can think of that, and some of you may be laughing at this or judging it, but please don't because there are many ways this can be perceived as his pursuit. For example, let's take the nightclub and they've been dancing. Well, she may have seen him follow her throughout the club and try to dance with her that night and over the course of hours it occurred and then she felt something or maybe even was drinking a bit and goes home with him. That's one scenario. It could be that online he's been pursuing and trying to get a meeting with her, trying to get a meeting with her and finally they do and she's like wow I didn't expect this. I didn't think he was going to be so handsome, so wonderful, so this, so that and she goes home with him that night. So that woman may be perceiving it as real pursuit, but it's superficial pursuit. It's not real pursuit that a man needs over the course of time in your presence. So that's a key takeaway here. How much time with you in your presence has he actually been pursuing? You see, even if it's just the pursuit of sex, through that pursuit, he will feel more for you. Men fall in love through the act of wondering, longing, pursuing. So this takes some time. And you may say, well, that time in those scenarios was the hours that he did that. Well, hours is not enough. You could say, well, maybe he was pursuing for months online. That's not enough. Maybe it's even more than months. I've had women come to me and say, he pursued me for a year or more. I always said no online. And then I finally acquiesced. It's still not pursuit of you and time with you in your presence. So recognizing that is a real factor in understanding if there's been real pursuit from a man. Here's another big, big differentiation. You won't know if he's pursuing just for sex, but as I said, pursuing for sex through time and putting him through the paces. Here's the beauty. If he's not truly interested and it's a little too much trouble, he'll move on. Now again, that's dependent on the man and how much he thinks, I'm gonna get her, I'm gonna get her, I'm gonna get her. Well, you don't know, okay? But 
through the act of pursuit, he starts to feel more than he would just as you feel because he meets the criteria of what you want. Men's criteria doesn't even compare to women's criteria. It's a woman, kind of fits the criteria within some parameters, but you catch my draft. Again, that's the puppy principle, which is in my book. If you haven't read it, women have called it game changing to understand this concept along with my consumer versus buyer relationship theory and also even my sports supposition that are in the book that give you an understanding of the male mind in a way that heretofore may have been confusing. So get that if you haven't. And it's right here in audio form on YouTube. So listen to it. It has its own playlist. Take a listen. Every chapter is there. So when you understand this, that pursuit is contextual a bit, but it's mostly in terms of time in your presence and that through the time in your presence, he will show you his real interest or not. Now that's going to take you holding back when there's real chemistry and you are truly interested. That's really tough. And if you have started with a man in a way that you feel, oh, I gave in too soon and he didn't get there. Well, not all is lost. Please, I don't want you to think that because there are so, 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 so many instances where if you change up a bit in a way that he starts to see your value again and you reset things and he does have to pursue it again, that means that something was there on his part and you can grow it. If you need help with this, I hope you will connect with me. You can be a guest on the podcast and talk to me in a real coaching conversation where I give you all my advice and principles so that you can reset them so that you restart in the right way so that there is real feelings, real pursuit, all that we're talking about here. And this, I think, can be a game changer for you because when you get an objective viewpoint of it, it can be super, super helpful because talking to friends that tend to be of the same mindset and thoughts as you, that's why you're friends, or say family members, sister, mother, who are worried for you and love you so much that they don't want to see you waste time or hurt yourself or whatever. There's so much out there about like you should never go back with an ex. I find that to be very sad because it's typically not that the man was bad or the relationship was doomed or anything like that. It's simply that somebody typically on the female side didn't know something about how to guide it to get the man to be in his deepest feelings, like we're talking about here today, which is via some pursuit. The salient point here is you've got to recognize what that pursuit was and what it was for, because many times we come to something from our own vantage point. You go into it as a female and you have sex and through sex and it can be just one encounter and now you're all in. He's not as a man. That's not how men work. He must have some challenge. Again, in my book, three C's of men that I connote as challenge, competition, conquering. It's fundamentally at their core what men are about and the difference between us, which is we are the caretakers, the connectors, the cooperators in the world. So we come to it from a very different place and it's very important that you understand that place and you then guide to how that needs to go down for his pursuit. So if you need more help with this, connect with me, as I said, either as a guest on the podcast or speaking to me in a private consult. You can go to my website, coachpaulabrooms.com. Right there, you will click on coaching and it will give you uh, the various ways to connect with me. And the podcast as well tells you how to do that. And that also is here on YouTube, its own playlist. But please do that because these fundamental understandings are going to get you what you desire and deserve. If you truly desire him and you make a commitment to doing what it will take to get him there, and then you know without a shadow of a doubt that you did everything possible to allow for his pursuit, his feelings, the growth of it, etc. Then, if for some reason it doesn't work, you can walk away feeling 
okay, I am okay with this because I did everything I could do and I knew what I needed to do. I don't have regrets looking back and saying, if only, if only. I really want to keep you from that if only. So getting more of these concepts by being here on YouTube, going to the podcast, checking out my website, it's going to help you very much and that's what I'm all about because I want women to get what they desire and deserve in their romantic life which is lifelong love and commitment with a man you truly desire. So repeat the YouTube videos here that are giving you this kind of information. And again, if you need more, connect with me. You can always DM me here and we will be in touch. So be sure that you are leveling up, learning, listening, and continue to be here and we will do more. So until next time, I trust you got a lot of good information in this video and I want you to have more by subscribing and clicking that red alert bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you want even more, there are ways to talk to me. You can talk to me for free on the podcast. You can have a consultation with me. There are several other ways that you can check out by going to coachpaulagrooms.com. I am available to you. Just go now to coachpaulagrooms.com for any question to get my book to find out about any of my coaching programs, my self-help courses, anything at all that you need. I am here for you and want to give you all that is possible because all is possible for you in your romantic life and you can get what you desire and deserve. I want you to know that. I am happy you are here learning, leveling up, and I will see you in the next video.